Hey, good Monday to you. Another Tech Mod Monday, and how great can a Monday be when you've got that as a view? Wow, we a perfect way to start a Monday. Loving this retired life, loving it. Hey, Tech Mod Monday's not really Tech Mod today. We're gonna be doing a lot more upgrading than we are Tech Modding. Uh, I got one real important piece you need to have on your RV at all times. And the other piece we use a lot with our RV. I didn't use them for a while, but you can use them, and I'll show you what that one is. And the other one is just something you probably really do want to add. Uh, that says an upgrade. It'd be Upgrade Monday. So welcome aboard. My name's Pat. Here we are with Making RV uh, Memories again. Uh, beautiful Monday, and we are Oceanside here. Love the view. Let's get to it right after this. Here we go. Thanks for coming back. Uh, today's Tech Talk, we're gonna get into some upgrades that you can do to yours. All three of them I think is gonna be really interesting for you. First, I wanna deal with the X shocks that we use between our tires at our camp spots. Use these on uh, every travel trailer. These are the, uh, the ball X shocks. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a couple other brands out there that you can use. This particularly the one that I've used for a while. They're easy to put in. They do oppose force to both tires, so the camper's not going to roll anywhere i've used them on uh, all of my travel trailers didn't need them at the motorhome obviously and i've uh, used them here with the fifth wheel and i've actually learned as heavy as this fifth wheel is these x shocks will lock it right in place they're easy to install they're about 70 to 80 bucks a pair well worth it though because they really do lock it into place helps to stabilize it a little bit but it does lock it into place so it's uh, a good, uh, not really call a color modification, sort of an upgrade, you may say. I labeled this one for the passenger side, so it'll just slide right in. And just X Jocks 101 for dummies. I did label off and on on the wrench. <laughs> yeah, it does make it just a tad bit easier for me to, to grab it and run with it. So slide them right in you can hear it between me out of breath and just tighten them up you can hear it sort of gripping the... boom she's on i'll put one on the other side that'll lock her in place i will still use my wheel chocks uh, but the x chocks i believe them a uh, hundred percent easy upgrade for you like i say they're just a little bit expensive 60 80 bucks i believe Maybe a little cheaper, maybe a little bit more. I'm not exactly on the, on top of the current price. I've had these for a while, but they've been, uh, boy, they've been good ones. And the way they oppose force on both tires, they really lock them into place. Taking them off is about as easy as, about as easy as putting them on. So I've really got some use out of these. With this uh, 14,000 pound fifth wheel, these x shocks will actually hold it in place, and this uh, this baby's not going nowhere with these x shocks in. And your camper may have axles that are a little bit farther apart than normal. As you can see here, they do make an x shock for those spread axles. They'll spread right apart there and clamp those tires together. It'll secure the camper, take a little bit of motion out of the camper too. So they do make the standard x shocks like I've got on mine, and these wide spread shocks. So uh, they make a, a next shock for any application you got. Another little dilly I wanted to throw in there, a little extra today. We, you know, we're packing for uh, full time, so we got a lot of clothes in the closet. Probably a lot more clothes than I'll ever wear. With a washer and dryer in the camper, I really only need a couple of shirts, a couple of pants, and a, maybe a pair of underwear, or okay, maybe two pair. But yeah, I didn't, uh, didn't plan on carrying this much. So I put a support rod here, you can see. Just a standard two before. I painted it black so it doesn't stand out. Put a little, egg, uh, little hook at the top, uh, just like a, uh, a hat rack hook. Uh, and that sort of supports the rod. You can see up in the ceiling there, it's just a little, like I won't say a flimsy rod holding it up. Not much of a rod there. So I knew this two before would support the weight. You can see down on her side and my side both, we've got a pile of clothes that we carry with us. So just a little something extra I wanted to add there to, to sort of support all the weight of those extra clothes that we're taking uh, in case we do want to do a change of wardrobe two or three times a day. 
And the next one I wanted to lead into you for you, show you there that I do carry my little air compressor. Sure does come in handy, and I'll show you how I mounted it in the basement of my camper there. In my basement here at the camper, I put a couple of things in. The main thing was my little pot belly air compressor. Set it right there in the corner, sort of neat, clean and out of the way. I did clean some stuff out around it, so it does look a little bit neater here, but usually it's, uh, it's always there for me. Easy to hook up, just run my cord up. I've got a plug up under the basement here, so it's easy to uh, air the bicycle tires up. I've got the airbags on the front of my fifth wheel that has uh, and needs air occasionally and then of course you got your tires on the fifth wheel and your vehicle so always needing some air somewhere or somebody else may need them for their bicycle this little pot belly fits in here so neat it's out of the way so it's a, a really a great addition whether you're just a weekender or a two-week vacationer or like me you're full-time on the road this is your garage only other thing i did add here is pretty pretty handy for me i'm always needing some nuts and bolts uh, uh any kind of little gadget I just mounted that. I built me a little platform there so I could sort of raise it up off the ground and still get some more uh, storage up under it. And just a couple of screws to the uh, to the wall there to hold it up. Just a little chest of drawers with uh, all kinds of little nuts and bolts and uh, just gadgets. Gadgets, you know us guys, always needing something to do something with. And of course, got my toolbox here so I can always tinker always tinker on something but the main thing i wanted to show you along with the uh, chest of drawers there those are those are handy but that little pop belly air compressor i got mine at lowe's they had them uh, actually had them on sale there and they still do last time i was there so a pretty uh this been great for for the little short time that i've used it it does do a psi of 200 my airbag needs at least 150 in the front so I needed something that's gonna carry enough PSI pressure that I can use it there. Easy to hook up with the quick disconnect there. I can run my hose whether I go out that door over there or the door here where I'm at. So I can get the, I've got a, um, I got a 25 foot hose and it'll go just about anywhere I need to go with it. A good addition to, to uh, like I say, if you're a weekender or a two weeker or a, a full timer, something really handy that's not gonna take up a lot of space in your basement. And the addition I really wanted to show you was something that everybody ought to carry, no matter what kind of camper you've got. If you're camping out with a family or by yourself, you really need a first aid kit. Uh, we actually, now there's a lot of store-bought ones here. You can see that they come complete, ready to go. You can just get it and uh, stick it in the camper anywhere you wish. Uh, I happen to make mine. I put mine all together. We got uh, just about everything in the first aid kit that we think we'll ever need. We decided to put our own together. So we just took a standard little uh, a clear storage container. I put me a, a sticker in the top so we can sort of see it. If somebody's not around that I'm around, they'll be able to see that it is a first aid kit. Inside, we just uh, I packed me some gloves. We got some rubbing alcohol. I got some gauze wrap here. And we've got some uh, surgical dressings there. In the little package here, we carry, there's a lot of things in here that uh, you might would wanna have sometime. But they're just mostly standard bandages, uh, some gauze, uh, some wipes and cleans, uh, little things you'll have for some bumps and scrapes and knocks and anything small, anything any larger than that you'd want to call 911 to try to get some help for. So that'll just be something that you want to carry with you just to be safe. I do urge you, no matter what kind of camping you do, tent camping, pop-up, trailer, motorhome, any kind of camping you do, please always have a first aid kit with you. You never know when the little small things are going to come up, little scratches and scrapes and burns, and you'll need something to sort of patch them up with. So keep your first aid kit handy, just like we do. And I wanna thank you for watching our, uh, our little upgrade video here today. We are still on our beach tour down here. So we're doing some beach adventures here. You can catch our adventures on Fridays. Mondays is our tech mod update like today was. Uh, so I wanna thank you for joining us here today. Hope I helped you a little bit, educate you. I want you to really keep up with the x chocks on yours. Uh, by all means, no matter what you're doing, no matter what size camper you've got, get a first aid kit, carry it with you at all times. You never, ever, ever know when you're gonna need a first aid kit. So you wanna keep that one there with you at all times. And we do join, uh, wanna join you to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right there in the corner. You can join our adventures. That really does help us. The really help is leave me a comment. Let me know uh, if any of these have helped you. What do you think of our channel so far? And, uh, and uh, 
Well, how do you like the beach? Because we're here for a week or three. And hit the like button there. That like button really lets YouTube know how many of you are agreeing with our channel and are watching us. So we do appreciate it. Like I said, along with subscribing with us, we love to have you join along our journey. We hope to have a meetup sometime soon so we can all meet up and uh, compare notes and uh, see how we're all enjoying this RV life on the road. Or if you're just a weekend vacationer, we'd love to love to have you come along with us and do a meet along. Again, my name's Pat, along with my wife, Glenna. We are making RV memories. God bless every one of you.